You know who talks about this quite often? Uh, Andrew Tate. Yeah. Uh, we've done multiple podcasts with Tate. Audience is obviously a big fan of Tate. Um, so while Travis Kelsey, as we just discussed, might have his temporary sugar mama in Taylor Swift, Andrew Tate basically did a tweet that's saying, like, do not rely on a woman. It ain't going to work out in the long run I as said a man. be reliable. Okay? What's that? <laughs> I said be reliable as a woman. Be reliable <laughs> as a man, and then you can have any woman. So, uh, pull up his tweet if you don't mind. So, here's what he said. Relationships are great, but know this. As a man, every serious struggle you face in life, you will face alone. When the assailant pulls a knife and aims to kill you, your woman cannot help you. By the way, I just would like to point out, Tate's that dude that's getting assaulted by knives. I, I don't know many dude that deal with that, but that's a Tate thing. Back to that. Um, you will help solve her biggest battle. She will send you love as you head off to face your own. Women are a luxury. Self-ability is a necessity. When I was in jail, hold on, Malik, brother. <laughs> Malik. Read back. Jesus. Go back up. Um, there, women are a luxury. Women, She's women are a luxury. Self-ability is a necessity. I fully depend on my woman for nothing. Just like I talked about my situation. They're the cherry on top. When I was in jail, I did not expect her to pay the bills. I did not expect her to run the empire. The things she does for me are things I could easily do for myself. This is actually so poignant. Um, when men say their wife is their number one ally, this is a man with minor struggles. When the mafia is threatening to shoot my mother in the head, when I'm in the ring with broken bones, when I was stabbed, I cannot call my girlfriend and ask for help. You will need brothers for war. Ask a woman directly, do you want to help me with my problems? Look in her eyes. Look how she was instantly. Is she att less attracted to you for what? Fix your own and fix hers. She doesn't belong in life or death battle. This is a man's world. So you know how they say, uh, James Brown, this is a man's world. This is a man's world, but it would be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. No, exactly. one, no James Brown fans? Exactly. Jesus. So it wouldn't be nothing but without this is, women. This is, Sean, this is probably different than how you view it. Let me explain. This is a man who took years to have success, years to fight in the ring, years to build his business. I'm not talking about the allegations. I'm just saying the actual facts. Years to build himself up to being the multi, multi, multi millionaire dude, badass, social media influencer, everything he's doing and at this phases of his life because i've been to his house i've been to his compound i've seen the ladies nice ladies there on their own volition their own will what were they doing they were bringing us coffee they were helping can i get that i'll get the door they were adding to the environment mostly mostly because they were just ridiculously hot and pretty shocker alert guys like pretty girls yeah. but they're not causing headaches they're not causing drama so when you hear something like this, I totally get it. He's like, I don't need you to do shit. I want you, but I don't need you. So uh, you had a di very different situation. Your girlfriend was there from day one. Do you understand the difference between, let's say you met a girl at this chapter of your life right now versus when you were 18, 20 years old. What would you need from a girl today? It'd be tough today because now I've, I've got the money. You know, I've got the success. You know, a lot of girls are in my DMs, and I know it's straight up materialistic. So it'd be tough, man, to be honest. Gotcha. So what, uh, girl? Say, what's your girl's name? I don't know. If Ariel. You Ariel. Yeah. Ariel. He loves you. He's going right home to you. Where this is not uh, calling you out. But if, if God forbid, something you and Ariel didn't work out, and you and uh, Riss over here ended up, what, what would you need from her at this point in your life, or her, or her, or what would you actually need? Just a support system, you know, protect me emotionally, spiritually. She's my rock. Um, she can meet someone within five minutes. She'll know if she's a good or bad person. I think girls are very in tune with their spiritual side. Mm -hmm. So that to me is important. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> um, is anyone here dating a super, super, super successful guy? My you guy. are? Yeah. Okay. Why does he need you? He doesn't need me. Huh. He wants me around. Why does he want you around? I add to his life. How so? I give him emotional support, the things you guys have talked about. Um, he also works in the industry with a lot of models and women, and I help him in that world. I help him understand women more. I help him at home. I support him emotionally. Um, what is it? We put on a good... Um, 
front together, like mm-hmm. as a team. We're so very you're much a model, team. but he's also in the industry as well. He's a talent what does he agent. Do? He's a model agent. So he's around pretty girls all day. All day. And what this doesn't cause jealousy for you? No. So would we it be fair to say models. a guy like that could be with any pretty girl he wanted? He definitely could. Okay, gotcha. So let's back up a second. He used to be a professional basketball player, so he's Even been in better. this world. <laughs> so he can be with any girl. Yeah. He's got money. Mm-hmm. He's got looks. He's dealing with models, but yet he chose you. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, are you... Uh, argumentative with him no are we you argue like, maybe once every six months maybe okay mm-hmm. are you do you disagree with him a lot no do you allow him to lead in the relationship after time i did yeah okay you did <laughs> so what, is, what what took so long like what was that evolution i just had to trust him and know that he could be a good leader because i've always been the leader of my own life you know i never was with someone that i could trust to lead yep. but now i I love that he leads. I'm like, let me turn my brain off when we're together. Okay, I love what you just said there because I feel like every woman has to find that situation, find that dude where they can just literally take their hands off the wheel. You know, like, uh, take my, uh, trust in Jesus, off my hands off the wheel, that whole thing. You have to be able to trust in your man. Because if you're always going to be in a situation where you're like, nah, I don't need no man, I trust myself, I'm the alpha in this relationship, you're never going to find the relationship you want in your life. Okay? In a past relationship, not the girl who I was just paying for in a past relationship, (laughs) uh, I kind of hit her with a few, because she was a little bit older. She was in her early 30s, 33. This other girl I'm talking about is 23. Big difference. So I said, look, if I'm going to waste my time with a girl who's 33 turning 34, I need to know that she's like on board from Jump Street, Mm -hmm. not like we date for two, three years, and then I find out she ain't about that life. And I realized she put on like a good front at first, but then it was like, nah, I can't, I can't deal with this. And she's like, yeah, I, I'm so used to paying my own bills. I am so used to not relying on man. I can't even begin to believe you when you say you got me. I'm like, listen, you're gonna, what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up quitting this job. This is how this is gonna work. And you're gonna move in with me and you no longer need to work uh, at this job. It was a bartender job, mm. right? Where she makes over a hundred grand. And I said, but you need to trust that I'm going to take care of everything. I'm going to pay the bills. You can still get a job during the day, but I'm not going to date a girl who's at a club all night. Okay, we don't have kids. It's not like I'm going to sit around. She's going to be a housewife doing nothing. But you need to trust that I got this. And she's like, I've been on my own for so long. I can't quit. I can't do this. I said, whether it's with me or the next dude, Unless you're going to be that 40-year-old still serving drinks in a club, you're going to have to have that moment in your life. How long were you with her for? Not a long time, like four yeah. months. Well, you got to build the trust. Because a, true a that. But a guy like this, I'm not going to date her for two years and then be like, so do you trust me yet? True. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like you're if I was with wrong. a guy for like two months and he's like, okay, you got to quit. You got to do this. I'll take care of you. No, no, no. I didn't say you need to quit today. I'll say this is what the plan's going to oh, look like okay. by okay. the end of the year. So then, yeah. You're providing yeah. a plan to build. I'm like, this is a game plan. That's different. But that's also you to the yes. point. And I would put myself in those shoes. Like, But my dad also prepared me to take care of myself so that I can take care of myself. But then when it mm-hmm. is time, like I said, my mom's a stay at home mom of four kids. We're all two years apart on the dot. And my dad traveled the world and paid for everything. That's how we were raised. So, but my dad was like, I'm going to make sure that you can take care of yourself at all times mm-hmm. so that when it is time for somebody to step in, my dad always jokes, mm-hmm. he's like, I can't wait till somebody takes you off my payroll. <laughs> you know? But back, back to this uh, quote from Tate. This is how men think or should think when they're 35 years old, right. 40 years old, and they're still single or they, they don't have a woman in their life. They're, he's basically saying to other guys, yo, like you did this. Right. You made this money. You made a name for yourself. You used to be that chubby little kid that got picked on. Now you're a freaking fucking badass multimillionaire. Like you did this. Okay? So be careful for the woman that you're bringing into your life because you don't really need her. Every guy, we started off the show with guys reach success so they can bring dependence into their life. Not not independence with an I with an E N C E, dependent, E N T dependent like on your tax forms, right. is because we don't want to just be alone. Right. But women with while they while they sort of garner that independence mindset, 
it will lead to them being alone. I've seen it a million times. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another, or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.